Greetings, BRE, fifth grade class. Today is a very special day, and I would like to congratulate you for a job well done. I would like to take this chance to encourage you in whatever you choose to do in the future. On this promotional day, you must look ahead and dream of all the bright possibilities that your future holds for each and every one of you. For no one could be more proud of the person that you're becoming, and that's why the best is yet to come. You are my first fifth grade class as principal, and you have made history, and you have adjusted well to not being able to see your friends or your teachers for a whole nine weeks. Please go to middle school and be great. Dear graduates, I am so proud to be your fifth grade teacher. And listen, this year has been marked with all kinds of transitions. Transitioning from subject to subject, transitioning from teacher to teacher, and transitioning from face-to-face -to, -face to virtual learning. But above all, I want to remind you that you have the freedom to define who you are. Find your passion, and I want you to go confidently in the directions of your dream. Live your life, and live the life that you have. Again, congratulations to all of the fifth grade graduates here at Balmore Ridgeway Elementary School. Have a good day. Dear students, I'm so proud to have been your fifth grade teacher. Although this year ended in an unusual way, you have been in my thoughts and I miss you dearly. As I speak to you virtually, I want to remind you that this is a time for a celebration, a farewell, and a beginning. Celebrate by looking back on lessons learned, adventures shared, and bright moments filled with special meaning. This is a time to say farewell to elementary school, your teachers, and old friends. And lastly, a beginning to setting new goals, an opportunity to dream new dreams, and spread your wings. I will miss you from Ms. Smith. Mama said, don't give up, it's a little complicated, all tied up, no more love. Tied up, no more love, and I'd hate to see you waiting. 
Tied up, no more.